Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, two MOTs today, Gary's Bandit over there and my Satellist over here. I believe it's ready to go. Um, I think it's looking great. I even put a dusting off black, I forgot about that, on the shocks last week, just to neaten them up. Um, let me just take this choke off so we can chat. I want to give Gary's bike a good 10 or 15 minutes run to charge its battery. It was a bit slow on startup last week and this morning actually. It's a bit low on idle now behind me. Um, I need that to pick up. Anyway, it's looking great. Look at this. We cut out a lot of the scratches. Don't get me wrong, there's still some, but we cut out a lot. And we have no polishes. This is strict clear at the moment. There's no polishes on it. I did the um, cutting of the paint and the turtle wax repair and shine will have left a slight um, glaze because that's what it does. But I then cleaned it after that. So basically it will need a good polish after this. And I've got the Meguiar's um, good, good polish. And um, I've then got a good thick wax. So um, I really, really, really hope one of two things today, both things actually, that this rides well and has no issues. And that this um, passes MOT so that I can just get it kind of on and sold. So I've put um, what I need on this to be able to drive it to MOT, days insurance, etc. And um, I've booked it into the MOT place because that's the legal requirement to be on the road. Um, I'm not very good at booking them in, but it's worth it to save your um, license. In the past, someone looked at a video months later and ran a number plate two or three months later and said I was lying. Um, someone random watcher and uh, I actually had the bike in the video still here at the garage because it took months to get a logbook back then for it uh, so if you do it at any point check the plate just remember this video is being filmed at least a week before it comes out so you're unlikely to see that it's insured for the day but you will of course see that it has an MOT if it passes. Um, I've jumped the gun a bit here because I haven't even started this bad boy. Um, I need to bolt the seat down because I left it loose just in case. I put a little Allen key in here though. And, and of course I want it to uh, idle and run and ride beautifully, get me there past the MOT, get me back. And then it'll be straight on to Gary's Bandit, go and do the same thing, get back for 12 o'clock. And the truth is, I'm probably gonna throw some polish on this and then leave the garage today. I need to go and buy some clothes. I need to get some clothes, so I'm going shopping. So that will be it. But I'll be uh, ecstatic if I get the two MOTs done, ready for um, both bikes to be loved. Wow, guys. Um, at the MOT place, I am the fussiest person in the world with bikes. Um, and actually, no, John is the fussiest person in the world with bikes. But I am very picky about um, bikes and how they feel. Um, that thing is spot on, absolutely spot on. Um, if uh, the only slight thing might be tire pressures, I didn't even think. Uh, I haven't put any air in since I've had it and I didn't even consider it. Or I did on the first day maybe, but yeah, it feels like the tire pressures might be wrong, but that's an easy fix. And also it's not shocking, it's just me being picky. Um, so, uh, so yeah, the bike's in for MOT and, um, and I think it's gonna be good actually. Everything works, every button, every light, smooth as anything. Um, I think it's got heavy rollers in it. It's a slightly slower pull-off than I'm used to for a moped, but a, but such a smooth top end. Um, and I prefer that on this bike because it's a big 125. My guess is it's done some motorway miles. Um, if anyone wanted it to be a bit snappy on the bottom end, you'd just put slightly lighter rollers in. So, really happy. I'll get back. It should pass. I'll jump on Gary's, I'll bring it back and I'll be going around in circles all day. Yes, a clean bill of health, an MOT. I don't know um, if there's any advisories yet uh, because he couldn't print it 
but I'm going back with Gary's bike to get that done, so I'll get them both afterwards, but it, it passed. Um, and, uh, and he said he's a huge fan of Peugeot's. He said the old speed fights and um, this. Uh, so that, that's, you know, they're, they're, the, they're the most honest people you'll ever talk to with bikes. They tell you if a bike's shit, and they'll tell you if a bike's good. Um, but, yeah, to get their kind of approval as well um, is brilliant. I want to get back after Gary's and give this another wipe, put some polish on it, and uh, that's it. Done and dusted. Advertised today. Oh, I'm so excited. Honestly, that's been a three-week project, and it's, it is what I wanted. I wanted a quick, easy-ish ish project. So, uh, honestly, absolutely can't wait. Um, I'm going to put it up for, say, 1600 in hope to get uh 15 really um it owes me only six it owes me six uh so um wow it's uh it's quite a lot of profit but of course that profit's going to go on to uh, another project so yeah brilliant absolutely can't wait let's get gary's up there let's see how that goes i feel like this whole video is just you looking at me looking at me on the camera um gary's bikes in for mot uh i really didn't enjoy that ride i did not enjoy the ride i never thought i'd say it with a bandit but it's just not refined enough for me anymore you know um the new clutch springs we put in they're too stiff they're too stiff um uh, if we do an oil change at any point soon i'd be putting the old ones back in uh, now the new ones will wear in time but at the moment it's not nice on your hand also every wire should have some car oil down it it needs loosening up everything's just notchy and stiff um, I've been trying to convince Gary for a few months now to sell the bandit and buy something I'm um, an S3650 I think uh, like the Gladius model or the, the, the you know the earliest fuel injected model um, I think he would I think he would hate the immediate loss in power because the bandit is all power. It's power, power, power. There's no bottom end and that's part of what, what's not enjoyable about it. You can't just cruise along at 20 or 30, which we have to in, in central London. It's all top end uh, and that would drive me nuts. So, yeah, I mean, it'll pass, I have no doubt. Oh, well, hopefully, actually. But, um, yeah, I just, if I was him now, He's had this three years. It's his first bike with full test. He needs to get something, a fuel injected bike that's more refined, you know, a, a hydraulic clutch and so on, I, is my opinion. Uh, because that, that's, it's horrible. It's horrible to ride. And I've ridden many, many, many bikes. But let's get it done. Let's get it home. Let's polish up the saddle. Let's get the photos. Let's get the head foot up. And uh, it's a good day. So there we have it um two passes i mean that's that's uh stunning really it's really amazing when that happens i was going to throw some polish over the satellite so i thought i might as well throw some over gary's while we're here he keeps it quite clean anyway but um i'm going to be getting out the Maguire stuff so may as well put a, a layer on both um, and then i'll get this advertised ready for sale today um uh, there's nothing i would change on it um there's nothing I would change on it. There's nothing more I would do. Um, I dipped the oil, checked through. I'm very happy with the quality of the oil. Um, the only reason I would change the oil is if that was a manual bike, um, in case someone put in uh, car oil by mistake instead of um, clutch-approved oil. But it's it, the oil felt great. It looks brand new. The spark plug looks brand new. The filter looks brand new. Um, I am all one for um, saving stuff and not wasting stuff so that's it i'm actually trying to convince myself right now because i'm still thinking buy a bloody service kit but no no i don't like the idea of wasting so no uh, i am gonna uh, i mean it, it looks it looks so clean anyway but i'm gonna put a layer of polish on it just because uh, you might as well you might as well get it popping and if there's anything i can touch up a little bit more um, i'm not gonna touch that i'm not gonna cut it or anything um do you know what nope I'm not gonna bother i'm just gonna get a layer of polish and wax on it because why not and Gary's as well 
Uh, potentially got a buyer for this, but I'm still looking for that right panel, not this side, the other side. Uh, it's just so annoying, so annoying, can't find one. Uh, but if we do, we'll buy it and it'll be good to go. You know, it's, it's still worth a grand, this bike. It rides beautifully, but we do need the panel, ideally. Otherwise, the bloody battery looks just just it's just kind of not right i'm just you know what i'm like a bit of a perfectionist at times look yeah i don't like it it needs that panel oh right let's get on let's do some polishing i normally save the good stuff for the best stuff But it doesn't need much. This uh, super resin polish, it it gets into any nooks and crannies and it evens it out for a deeper shine. All you do is polish it on in circles like this. And put a nice, nice layer on. Make sure you get every area. This is a nice temperature for it, it can't be too hot or it sets too quick. Little circles. Make sure you hit every area. And then you wait a minute and you buff. So clean, clean side of the rag. And you buff. Wow, look at the difference already. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but it's ridiculous. It smells lovely as well. I can't, I mean, you can feel it, guys. That is unbelievable. That is, I forget how good this stuff is. Oh, and that was a really light layer. No, I don't know if you, um, I don't know if you picked that up. Well, this this is a clean side. You can see it just it's kind of smeary and stuff. And then you've got this kind of higher def. Yeah, wow, makes a big difference. I'm not going to film all the polishing because it's boring for you guys. But I am going to polish. All these panels are. A bit dull but once I've done that and then added a wax layer it's a game-changer and then I'll do the same to Gary's as well so that we're even